for them to be authentic, to be who you are. You don't have to be uh, like anyone else because no one can be a better you than you. There's nothing wrong with listening to other people, enjoying their preaching, even uh, emulating to a degree, but finding your own voice. And do not be swayed by people who say you should preach this way. You don't have to. You have to, you have to preach in your gift. Um, John Coltrane, who's a tremendous musician, um, has to be able to play in his particular uh, gift. Uh, Dizzy Gillespie likes Louis Armstrong, but he doesn't play like Louis Armstrong. Miles Davis realized he did not have uh, the speed and dexterity of a Dizzy Gillespie, but he could have incredible melody. Um, a common uh, does not try to sound like a most deaf. A most deaf does not try to sound like a black thought. A black thought does not try to sound like a Nas or uh, a Rakim. Now they're influenced by a variety of people, but they recognize that I have to operate within my gift. Toni Morrison does not write like Zora Neale Hurston. Zora Neale Hurston does not write like Dorothy West. Dorothy West does not write like Alice Walker. They recognize the gift that they have. And for preaching, Gardner Taylor, one of the great preachers, period, bar none. Um, but Gardner Taylor is an amazing preacher, but he does not uh, sound like Samuel DeWitt Proctor. Samuel DeWitt Proctor is radically different from uh, Adam Clayton Powell. Adam Clayton Powell does, does not sound like an Ella Mitchell uh, or an Essie McIntyre. They all have their unique gifts of presentation and preaching. Be who you are. You're more effective when you're authentic. When you recognize the gifts that you have been given and you express those gifts, people will recognize the spirit of authenticity and you will be able to penetrate the hearts of people that have become, um, how should I say it, um, a tad bit um, taken aback by modern day performance preaching that has no soul. So we need authentic preachers for this generation.